Another day in Pennsylvania. Yes, we found a beautiful, sunshiny day to go tour <laughs> Gettysburg. And they wore masks well, then. it's not so sunny no, today. A little rainy, not. but that's okay. But it's much cooler today. Yes, we're going to see a bunch of history. We're even going to go to an old historic restaurant. Yes. So... You guys should run away with us to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So we just went up to the visitor center building. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy tickets to a, like a little movie, the museum, right. stuff like that. Also, there is a bookstore or yep. a museum shop, museum I guess, shop. Yep. Uh, where they have a bunch of books on. There's been a few books. I don't know how many, maybe one or two written about the Civil War. What? Just a few. Um, so, but we're going to do the free auto Tour. tour that's not automatic that means auto automobile right automobile um and we're gonna drive around there are a few apps that you can download um we're just gonna go old school paper we've got a map paper map that was provided for free for free up at the visitor center it says to give yourself about three hours for this tour so There's lots of information we'll see so we'll uh Let's get to it. Let's go. So on July 1st, yep. 1863, right here at McPherson's Ridge with McPherson's Barn out there in the distance, yep. uh, where is where the Battle of Gettysburg first started. That's right. Uh, it took three days, yep. July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Um, and obviously, we'll talk more about the history, um, but this, this is where it start. all began when the Northern Army and the Southern Confederate Army had their first little skirmish. That's right. And this is where it started. All right, let's continue on. Okay, and it is raining, so it is raining. be patient with us. <laughs> You're looking at more of the ridge and McPherson's barn where it all started many years ago. seeing a whole bunch of historic spots where different battles we're working our way through we're going through the confederates right now right where the confederates had a kind of a stronghold states. yes so uh this is kind of toward the end of day one of the battle july 1st yep. and now this next section we're headed into is kind of where july 2nd yep where more battles happen so you got it let's get going let's keep going So we've gone around, this is where the last battle, That's right. where the Union Army held off the last charge and where uh, so many soldiers and um, just members of our country uh, back in hundred and... Many, many years, years ago. ago. Uh, lost their lives. Yes. So um, it's really been a great tour around seeing the different 
uh, monuments and uh, just learning more. I mean, obviously, we all learn it back in school. We right, most of us learn school. it back in school, yep. but we don't always retain what we learned back then. When you just have to, you know. It's also neat to actually see where it happened. Like, yeah, with this RV life, I never thought that, you know, well. You learn something in school and like okay that's great but you know now we actually get to physically see it and drive around and yeah. it's, it's really cool to actually see what's happened in this country stand on the same ground yes. where so many things happened yep um but i i you know we did the audio tour you mm -hmm. can do um you were telling me that's there right. were several different ways to do this tour right you can do a bus tour as one option. Um, you can go on to the National Parks website to find out price, current prices. Uh, you can actually also, right now, even with COVID, get a uh, get somebody to do a tour guide with you. Uh, they drive in their car, you drive in yours, and then they'll have you stop at certain spots and they'll tell you personally about certain things that happen. So Yeah, so like a private tour. Private tour, but without having to use your phone. You actually get someone physically, you can ask questions. Right, and then well. there's uh, there's some apps that you can download. They're yes. not affiliated with the National Park Service. Right. Um, and you can pay for those apps, and yep. it, they'll give you, like, kind of a... The stuff that we read on our map, mm -hmm. they would give it to you in an audio form. <laughs> um, and we actually heard someone was in their truck doing it. listening to it when we were out taking I don't know which app, so. but it, it sounded good. Yeah, it sounded pretty cool. Um, or you could just drop follow the map and have a great navigator like I did who hey. reads you, hey, at number 15, this is what happened. Right. So uh, just really fantastic. I think we want to go up and kind of look at some other areas. Yeah, so uh, let's look at some areas and then let's find some food. I think that'd be good. Let's go. We're gonna go eat at the Dobbins house, Dobbins house. It was a house that was built in 1776. It was a school for a few years, right. and then uh, now it's a restaurant and museum. So Sounds it's right good. around the corner from the cemetery. Yeah. Very convenient, and we hear they got some really good food. Great place to go right after your tour. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go check go. it out. <laughs> A fabulous lunch yes. at this inn. What's it called? At the Dobbins House. Dobbins House Inn. Uh, so you go, uh, there's a tavern downstairs. Yep. Which was a really small staircase down, um, but it was really a cool dining room area. Yes. Um, we had the, uh, I had a Dobbins House root beer. You had right. hot tea. I had hot tea. Um, and then we had the <coughs> King's soup baked onion soup right and baked king's soup something like that i don't know yeah, it's, but it's, it's different like, than baked onion soup yeah, because yeah. go ahead i was just gonna say it's similar to french onion soup but just add beef yeah. into the mixture yeah and little it chunks makes of it beef amazing it's super tender so obviously the beef is cooked in it yes um and then it had slice of bread onion right. melted cheese over the top right. really nice and then we had the Dobbins House hot beef sandwich or something. Right. I don't know. I'm horrible with the names. But it was like a French dip. Yep. It was like a rose shaved beef on a ciabatta roll with yep. a au jus. Nice Real fresh bread. au jus sauce. We chose coleslaw. You could have... Right. Chips uh, or French fries. Right. No. Potato uh, salad. Potato chips or potato salad. Okay. Or coleslaw. But then we finished with a piece of homemade apple pie and we did it a la mode and it had raisins so if you don't like raisins yeah don't order, don't order. but it, it, you can tell it was homemade because it wasn't super sugary it wasn't right. super sweet it tasted and the crust was almost like you said a little more cakey right 
So it was really nice. The ice cream really helped that pie. It so, sure did. And they give you a lot of ice cream to go with it. So Absolutely. you'll see in the video. So. But it's uh, right around the corner from the cemetery. Well, it's still raining. Yes. So I think we're done for today. I think so. There's other things to do here. Uh, there's the Eisenhower house where he, uh, his residence after serving in the military and while he was president. Um, we were thinking about doing that, but with this weather the way it is, it just wouldn't yeah. be worth And you can't go in. I guess usually there are tours, but you can only walk the grounds anyways. So we figured this will be perfect. Yeah, for the rain, we don't want to just walk it to the right. grounds. Okay. So, uh, great time. If you stayed around all the way to this time of the video, <laughs> if you hit like a video or hit subscribe, um, check out our social media. And, yes. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you coming along with us for another week. In Gettysburg. In Gettysburg. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.